So it's Mental Health Awareness Month. That's a time to really think about the importance of mental health and how to treat it. So Dr. Cindy Gibson, Associate Director of Crisis Services at Alta Point, joins us now to talk more about the tools available to people in crisis. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Gibson. Thank you for having me. So first of all, one of the tools is the Behavioral Health Crisis Center to really address this issue, right? That's right. Uh, we opened about two years ago, and uh, in that uh, time span, we've served about 2,000 individuals in uh, behavioral health crises and uh, one of the, the big things about it is really that it prevents people from having to go to an emergency room when they're in a mental health crisis and uh, it, it prevents them from having to go to jail if law enforcement's called out because a fourth of the people who have come have been diversions from jail. Mm. So this is something that's very needed in our community. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the Department of Mental Health allotted funding uh, two years ago for crisis yeah. centers throughout the state, and we were lucky enough to get that here in Mobile. Mm -hmm. And it's you know the right place, the right time, and the right treatment for those in need. How can you access this? Um, is it something you have to be referred to? Can you just walk in? Like, what's kind of the steps to go through? Uh, you can walk in. There is uh, some exclusionary criteria for medical things. I mean, obviously, if, if you've been shot, we're not, we're not the place to go. Right. But uh, um, the easiest way is to call our access to care line at 450-2211. And that connects you to somebody who can talk with you about what it's going to be like and what you need to bring and, and such. Uh, it's a temporary uh, facility, so we have a 23-hour observation unit that's focused on really getting folks back on their medication mm -hmm. quickly, um, getting them back into the community with supports, and then we have an extended observation unit for folks needing a little bit more mm -hmm. that's up to seven days, but okay. um, beyond that one. And when you talk about mental health and what kind of falls under that category? Are we talking about someone who's suicidal? Are we talking about someone with schizophrenia? What kind of things, you know, would, would apply? So the, the um, larger number of folks that we see uh, have depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. They may have been off of their medication and having trouble uh, at home or wherever they live and um, just need to come in and get started back on medication, see somebody and get hooked up with those other services like therapy and outpatient um, services to help them get back on their feet and stay stable in the community. And this is a great first step before something bad could happen to them or to maybe a loved one, something domestic, right? Absolutely, yeah. and, and law enforcement are our de facto first responders in a mental health crisis and part of the goal of this center is uh, to prevent that, mm -hmm. prevent them from al always being the one dealing with it, prevent jails from being overcrowded with individuals with mental health issues mm -hmm. where they're not getting the treatment that they need. Definitely much needed in our community, like you said. Um, how can folks learn more about this? Uh, they can go to the Alta Point website at uh, www.altapoint.org or, uh, as I said, call 251-450-2211 uh, to get information or to, uh, to come in to the crisis center. All right, Dr. Gibson, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you. Definitely very important topic to be talking about.